Uh, listen, there's an extremely efficient way to connect devices using audio. Uh, audio that you can't hear, completely safe to humans, babies, and animals, but the magic is its ability to transmit data over audio and uh, unlock second screen experiences, mobile to mobile connections, and other really, really efficient um, ways to connect devices. And so the way we describe it is we help anything with a speaker talk to anything with a microphone. And so it's kind of like turning your television or your radio or the speakers you have in your store into a, a beacon to communicate with uh, mobile phones. We work primarily in one of four verticals, um, sports, live events, broadcast, and brands and retail. An example, if you're at a favorite game and someone hits a home run and your phone would light up and kind of unlock this, uh, what I call dual screen experience. Yeah, so Sensitech was our, was our seed um, leader who led our seed round. They were an integral part of not only the seed stage, but even all the way through now to our Series B. Like lots of these companies, we just wouldn't be here without, without the, not only the investment, but the people that Cincy Tech pushes into the business from their executives and residents, the talent landscape that they help foster here and actually push candidates our way. Well, my background is I spent some time at P&G and always became fascinated with um, how we could use technology to touch consumers wherever they are. The whole idea of sound, you know, I think there's seven times more speakers in the U.S. and the globe than smartphones or people. Um, so the, the infrastructure of audio has the ability to touch consumers wherever they are. And how could you use that more effectively to do so? You know, we're bigger, the bigger t team that we've ever had, we've, we're moving as, uh, as fast as we ever have. Um, and it's just, it's sort of magic when the market kind of turns to meet you where you are. We, we get, you know, myself included and everyone, right? We get uh, very, very sensitive on the potential of failure. Um, I think you have to compete completely unsensitive to that. I think you have to um, not even recognize that um, there is no failure. I mean, um, we've done, you know, hundreds of executions in market, but the 20 that worked is, is the reason why we're still here. Um, I think you also need to be comfortable with no. Uh, I think every time we raise a dollar, I average around 30 to 35 no's before I start to get the yeses. And my yeses come between 35 and 40. Uh, so that says something. Um, I think you learn with every no, I think you learn with every failure. So if I had an advice, definitely um, start to be comfortable with that and go for it.